Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Uh, CC here, Chris, from New York, uh, Westchester County. It's 3-3. Uh, three, three. No, 4-3. 23. Lots of threes. Anyway, today's a Friday. I like to give you something to think about on a Friday, just in case if I'm not able to uh, put a video out this weekend. I want to give you a couple things. Um, one, of course, there is no way of not talking about this ridiculous protest, which, by the way, has now um, come into my neck of the woods, uh, SUNY Purchase, which is just great, you know? Okay, so I always tell you these people are paid, okay? The people that are paid are the instigators, okay? I'm kind of an instigator. I don't get paid for it, but I instigate people. People call me annoying, <laughs> you know, because I'm telling the truth. Back to what I was talking about. The instigators get the people that are just mindless in these Ivy League colleges. And they don't know really where they're going in life. You know, their parents stuck them in there, pulled some strings, uh, pay their $95,000 semester tuition, which is just absolutely outrageous. Um, and they just kind of fumble around, you know, get their degree eventually. And there you go. Indoctrinated for life never coming back from that <laughs> okay but the instigators are probably paid through soros and the people that are following the instigators they're just lost you know i have a solution though uh for the uh for the children and i like to call them children um who are setting up these tents in front of these colleges why don't you can kill two birds with one stone why don't you get the illegals that have no housing put them in the tents with with the college students okay i think that'll work out great they have a place to live the college kids will be secure because nobody seems to touch these illegals they pretty much let them do whatever they want we're giving them all the fucking money in the world and they're not helping anybody here in the country but we're giving them uh, debit cards we're giving them all sorts of good treats the, a goodie bag i like to call uh and, and and it's always nice to see this that that these great politicians that have been voted in there um are, are now you know turning against the americans the people that live in this country that are citizens of this country okay that's how bad politics they are and it's always been that way but it's never been this bad because they have all of the boards set up. They had this set up all the way back to the Obama ministry. You see, this is what I don't want to get. I don't want to get into this bullshit. But how could you not? How could you not avoid it? Okay? I mean, it just goes on and on and on. On and on and on. This bullshit. This nonsense. Okay. Uh, Norwalk, Connecticut. I'll give you a little something to think about. We just had... One bridge was already destroyed. I think they're still fixing it or... Maybe it's already fixed. I don't know. I haven't kept up with it. Is it fixed? That last bridge that the bar barge mysteriously destroyed the bridge. Right. I'm sure. Now we have another bridge that was just destroyed just the other day in Norwalk, Connecticut. A good friend of mine lives in, in that area. Um, and... Uh, it managed... This is what happened. Apparently it was just a driving along managed to hit something and all of a sudden the oil tanker ignited <laughs> right at the same time that it was on the bridge wow isn't that a coincidence oh there's go there goes the bridge bye bye you see the problem with the bridge in norwalk is that's a big corridor a lot of trucks use it for the last couple of weeks i've been well the last couple of uh this happened i believe it was a day before yesterday and I noticed an influx of trucks yesterday in the afternoon where, like, for every four cars, there was an 18-wheeler, okay? Uh, it was just, I was like, what, what the fuck is going on? Now I know. I don't really watch the news, so that's probably why. Um, so they answered my question. Now I know they're using the highways that I use to commute with now to go around this, and it's a major screw-up for them. It tacks on an extra 45 minutes to get to their destination in Connecticut. But, but what are you going to do? You know, another, I don't know what you want to call them. Um, I know Mark Sargent likes to call them ninjas. 
perhaps. Maybe that's what it is. Who knows? I'm sure it is. It's got to be. These things can't just all happen coincidentally because there are no coincidences in life. It happens for a reason. Okay? They like to fuck with us. That's all. They like to fuck with us. They like to fuck with us in every way they could possibly imagine. And they're going to continue doing it and continue just keeping you confused, keeping you in the closet, keeping you thinking about other shit and not flat earth. Okay? They don't seem to touch flat earth on, on the internet, but everything else that we bring up, we can't talk about it. <laughs> so all these um, citizens of New York State uh, four years ago lost their three years ago lost their jobs over something that they didn't want to get. Thousands of citizens lost their jobs in New York State. Okay? Because of something they shouldn't get. Now, let that sink in for a minute. Okay? They took a choice, and they lost their jobs. We're giving money to the illegals who are not vaccinated, not tested, no background check, nothing. Because the politicians want the illegals in here. They think they're going to vote for them. When I would say 85% of them are criminals. See, what they're doing in other countries, and this isn't just down south, this is all over the world, okay? Notice any new faces in your neighborhood? I bet you do! <laughs> I, I can't believe I'm here to see this. I really, I really cannot. And when I talk to people... And they tell me they have money problems and Gen, Gen Zers have money problems and all that bullshit. I just turn over to them and said, you created this. You hated Trump. You voted this guy in and everything is all fucked up. Because after Trump left, the checkerboard, the, the checkerboard was already set, you know. He cleaned a lot of it up, don't get me wrong. But it was already there. The politicians were already in place, Okay. All right. All they needed to do is get Biden in, have him sign all this nonsense, and everything goes to shit. Every city in the country, every oil rig, everything goes to shit in such a short period of time. How do you think things went to shit so quickly in such a short period of time? Because it was already set and ready to go. They just had to flip the switch, and that's what they did. You think this happened over... No. No, no. No. This was already planned 10 years ago. This doesn't just happen overnight, you know? Of course, when you, like I've always said, once you fuck with the fuel, pretty much everything goes up. Such bullshit. Planet. I want you to think about a planet. I want you to think of how a planet is formed. Okay? Okay which nobody's ever seen how it's formed, out of all of the stars that are up there, we can't seem to manage to get a picture of an actual formation of a planet. We'll get drawings. We'll get artists that think this is what it should look like. But we're, we don't actually get anything that's real. Okay? Nothing. So when you're learning in school how a planet is formed and how gravity is formed... And how it's this just crazy mold dust that collects and then gravity mysteriously appears and, and it revolves around and does all this shit. And then all of a sudden you get this rocky planet in the middle of nowhere <laughs> because of all the dust that it's surrounding because of the explosion of something in the middle that's now a sun. All of it's bullshit. There's no evidence. There's no proof. There's nothing. There's just speculation. Okay. Well, they think they do have the math for it. But is there a math that actually can create a planet? I'd like to see that. I would like to see the mathematical computations of how they manage to create a planet. Tell me, please. <laughs> because they don't think Mother Nature did it, of course. All right. This is just something that happens. <laughs> You're all an accident. You all came from monkeys. That's right. That's right. The solar system was a little dust cloud. 
<laughs> children believe this. It's a fairy, fairy tale, fairy tales for children. And children come in all ages. I was a child once. I was a child all the way up until my late 30s. Until I figured out that the earth is flat. <laughs> mm. I mean, this holds true with everything. Everything that we've learned. We only dug down eight miles. Eight miles. This is an open and book. This is like a close. This is just this. I mean, just the mere fact that we have this should wake people up and say, wait a minute, what are all those diagrams of Earth? What do they, what do they think they have a seismogram that, that goes down 14,000 miles? And, and we have one on Mars too? Sure, we do. Yeah. I think we also have one on Uranus. <laughs> and there's nothing. You're given pictures. You're given a diagram. You're giving layers and layers. You know, when they dug down eight and a half miles, they were wrong every single time. Every time they were wrong. Okay, well, I think we're going to hit um, granite right now. Wrong. <laughs> I think we were going to hit some hard, rocky substance. Wrong. Eh. And then finally, it hit a barrier where nothing could go past it. Hmm. I thought the molted lava that they say our core of the Earth is, is located, I don't know, many thousands of miles down. <laughs> Not eight and a half miles. So if there's molted lava eight and a half miles down, then where, so it's just, you go eight and a half miles and it, it's all lava? <laughs> no, it doesn't make any sense because it's not true. It's not true at all. It's all bullshit. Okay. It's all of it. All of it. Everything. The TV is bullshit. The movies are bullshit. Every single movie has a globe in it somewhere. Somewhere. Somewhere there's a globe. Unless if you're learning about frogs or you're watching a, 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 a documentary about alligators or something like that in the woods. <laughs> but every movie, every movie that you see, and everything, I mean, just look at the movies now. Look at, look at Hollywood now. Hollywood has nowhere to go. They don't know what to do anymore. They're coming out with sequels after sequels after sequels and no... Nothing at all is new. It's all bullshit. When are they going to do Frozen again? <laughs> you know, when when's the next one coming out? I mean, you know, sure, I know they, they, they found a, a glitch and, and they're trying to make as much money out of it, but it goes on and on and on. And we're not talking five years here. We're talking 30 years of bullshit. We're talking The Terminator. 30 years of bullshit with that movie. T3, I didn't see it. I was going to go see it. I still haven't seen it. I've been busy. <laughs> I'll see it eventually. But it's it's like, you know, they they just they they have no imagination. And and when they're looking to distract us, they, they don't have any imagination with that either anymore. You know? They they can't come up with a fake UFO invasion. They, they can't come up with a, another moon landing or or a Mars landing or anything like that. They, it just keeps getting kicked down the road. <laughs> for so many decades now so many decades it's been kicked down the road that doesn't wake anybody up at all i guess it doesn't you know they'll just come at us with stupid computations of how there is a, a curvature and and how uh, you can see shadows and and all this other nonsense and how the constellations aren't the same here when they're not the same over there, and that's simple to debunk. Just go into a fucking room, put a goddamn fucking stars up in the fucking sky, and you're gonna see in one area it looks a little different, and in that area you're seeing the reverse. <gasps> wow, there you go. That's the sky for you. That's the fake stars up there for you. I mean, everything we've we've debunked, everything, <laughs> and they just still keep going at it. So, which leads me to believe that they're being they're paid. You know, I mean, who has all this time on their hands? I barely have enough time to put out five or six videos a month. I, it's ridiculous. Christosinesti. Eriosinesti. This is for my Greek friends. Happy Easter. I thank you for subbing. I thank you for viewing my videos. And let me be a part of your life.